Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Today's learn at home concept is step by step Arduino connecting 7 segment display. The 7 segment displays are available in various sizes and pin configurations. To have basic idea, various sizes of 7 segment displays with different pin outs are shown here. The 7 straight, long LEDs are arranged in a block with a round LED at bottom right corner which is used as decimal point. Nowadays, the color of LEDs are available, not only in red, but also in green, blue, yellow, white and multicolored. Normally, the 7 segment displays have 10 pins, out of which 2 are called as common, remaining 8 pins are connected to 7 segment LEDs, named ABCDAFG, and 1, DP, LED. Electrically, the 7 segment displays are of 2 types, common anode, and common cathode. When all the anodes of 8 LEDs are connected together to a common pin, then, it is called as common anode display. Similarly, when all the cathodes of 8 LEDs are connected together to a common pin, then, it is called as common cathode display. These two displays, common anode and common cathode are used here for testing. Set multimeter in continuity testing mode. For common anode display, connect positive probe to common pin, then, check each LED segment by touching respective pin with negative probe. Similarly, for common cathode display, connect negative probe to common pin, then, check each LED segment by touching respective pin with positive probe. Now, connect the 8 pins of 7 segment display to 8 pins of Arduino nano board through resistors. Either one or two common pins of 7 segment display may be connected to positive for common anode display, negative for common cathode display. Now, first testing with common cathode display, so insert it on breadboard along with Arduino nano board. Then, connect the top 4 and bottom 4 resistors, as shown in the circuit diagram. Connect the ground and 5 volts pins of Arduino nano board to bottom lines of breadboard for comfort while testing the circuit. You may use jumpers to interconnect the ground and 5 volts lines for the bottom lines of breadboard if required. Now, connect common pin of 7 segment display to ground line. Then, connect the remaining 4 resistors also. Connect one end of the USB cable to Arduino Nano and other end to your PC or laptop. Open the Arduino IDE, start with defining the pin connections A, B, C, D, A, F, G and DP in an array. In the setup function, for loop is used for 8 pins to set the pin mode as output of Arduino Nano, which are connected to 7 segment display. In the loop function, two for loops are used. Initially, all the eight pins are set to off. Then each pin is set to on, sequentially. Digital write function is used here, to set each pin, on or off. A delay is introduced between, each segment is getting, on. Save the file now, to disk. Now, compile the sketch. You may replace low keyword with 0 and high with 1. Now check and set the settings and upload the sketch to Arduino Nano. All the segments and DP start displaying by adding each one sequentially on the 7 segment display. Now define number array using zeros and ones for the segments. Write show number function to display any number by sending code using digital write function. The display code is already defined in number array. Now inside the loop function. For loop is used to display each number sequentially with short delay. Check the sketch, compile and upload now. The numbers start displaying now sequentially. Now replace the number array with alpha array to display some alphabet.
Replace the word number with alpha throughout the sketch, including show number to show alpha function. Press like button if you like this video and subscribe for more projects. Also adjust the for loop size to match the alpha array size. Then compile and upload. You may visualize some alphabets sequentially, which are possible to understand easily. They are displayed continuously in loop. Remove the common cathode display for testing with common anode display. Insert the common anode display and connect the common pin to 5 volts line. When the power supply is connected, you may notice the segments display are inverted. Now, in the show alpha function, add a prefix 1 minus to the array element to invert the code and normalize the display. Again, compile and upload. By inverting 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, the alphabet code is displayed properly now. Add prefix 1 minus in show number function to the earlier number display sketch, then compile and upload. The numbers also may be displayed properly on common anode display. Connect a wire or probe to pin 7 of Arduino Nano for making it as digital input pin. Define the pin 7 as read pin and add a variable num. In the setup function, set read pin as input and use internal pull up resistor using function digital write as high. In the loop function, write a code to increment the num variable by 1 and display the new number whenever the read pin goes to logic low. Now, compile and upload. By touching the free end of probe or wire to ground, the number increments by 1. Now, a push button may be introduced between pin 7 and ground of Arduino Nano to make the circuit neat and easy to operate. You may use a low resistance, like 100 ohms, or a simple wire to connect in between the push button and ground. Now, the push button may be used for increment of number. Here, you can make digital dice as entertainment, which is normally used for games, without changing the circuit, but with small modification in the sketch. The main change is, display numbers from 1 to 6 only, then, continuous increment of number, while pressing the push button. It seems all the segments are on, while pressing the push button, and it displays the actual number, when released. To make it better, if condition is used to show DPLAD only, and increments the number without displaying it. While read pin is low. Else it displays the actual number, on release. Compile and upload now. The DPLAD only displayed, while pressing the push button, and the actual number is displayed, on releasing the push button. Please press like button, if you like this video, and subscribe for more projects. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and more videos are available at Simple Makeatronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.